The worm has hold of everything around us. The fight must continue. That takes the edge off. Onawa. I had to fight one of your wolves at Endrin's HQ. I had Watkins until your wolf interfered. Why? You still don't understand. Survival requires sacrifice. Endron is too powerful. The worm is too powerful. Fighting against them only leads to unnecessary death. You betrayed me. And you betrayed Gaia. You sold yourselves to the worm. I've made no pact with the Worm, but Endron is prepared to move off our territory and leave us in peace. All in exchange for a few heads. You didn't just send one of your Red Talons after me. You also attacked Ava and her people. That wasn't us. Endrin's gas did quite a job of that on its own. But the last thing we need to convince them to leave is your head. You've lost me. Potch would never should have allowed this to happen unless... The worms corrupted him too. Through your bond. I'm sorry, Onawa. But I need to put things right. <sighs>
am I still your enemy, leader of the Red Talons? Forgive me, Fiona warrior. I failed in my duty. I remain blind as Endrin used me to corrupt our guardian spirit. What will become of him now? He was gravely tainted by the worm, but will regain his strength and time and be reborn from his ashes. You will forever have the Red Talon's gratitude. How was the worm able to reach Pachua? My blind pride. I thought I was strong enough to withstand the worm on my own. But, as always, it was Pachua protecting me through our bond. He suffered the full extent of the worm's corruption. And through this same bond, I allowed the corruption that infected Pachua to cloud my mind. His rage became my own. Your pack has suffered heavy losses, but Endrin's losses are heavier. We shall finish what you have started. Our concerns must extend beyond our cairn. Leave without worry, Kahal. We shall purify this territory. Maybe we'll meet again someday. You will be welcome if you ever come this way again. Time to meet up with Ava.